Hello everyone, it's Kevin, and today I'm excited to show you how you can stake your mover on Moon River. To get started, head to apps.moonbeam.network slash moonriver. Then press connect wallet in the upper right hand corner and choose the network and the wallet that you'd like to connect to. In this case, I'll choose Moon River and MetaMask. Then choose the account that you'd like to stake with. Press next, press connect. Now, we don't have anything staked just yet, but if you return to this page after staking Mover, you'll see a summary of the latest staking rewards that you've received over the last seven days. You can also scroll down and see all of the different assets that you have in your wallet on the Moon River network. To get set up staking, head to the Staking Overview tab on the left-hand side. You're free to stake anything that's in your free balance. Next, click on Select Collator, and the first tab that loads here is the Active Pool. These are the collators who are actively earning staking rewards. The waiting pool contains collators who are not currently earning staking rewards. You can still delegate to a collator in the waiting pool, but you won't earn rewards until they join the active pool. If you want to earn staking rewards right away, you'll want to choose a collator that's in the active pool. There is a protocol-wide minimum bond that's set by governance, but a collator's minimum bond amount could be higher. That's because there are a limited number of delegation slots available for each collator. And once a collator fills up its delegation slots, the minimum bond for that collator will increase. How should you choose a collator? You should do your own research and you should choose one that you trust to be a good steward of the network. If you don't know any collators, you can check out our collators channel in the Moonbeam Discord. Alternatively, you can pick any collator from the active pool for which you meet the minimum bond amount. It's important that your collator reliably produces blocks, because if your chosen collator stops producing blocks, you won't earn rewards for the period they're offline. You can always unbond from your collator and switch to a different one, but that takes time and you won't earn rewards during the unbonding period. Staking rewards vary based on two main factors the number of blocks your chosen collator has produced, and the percentage of the collator's total backing stake that your delegation represents. Although delegating to a collator takes effect immediately, you won't earn rewards until two rounds have passed. For demonstration purposes, I'll choose a collator with a minimum bond amount of only five mover. Go ahead and click on the collator you want to delegate to, then specify the delegation amount. There are buttons here allowing you to easily stake the minimum or maximum amounts. Below you'll see a slider, and here you can choose the amount of rewards that you'd like to be auto-compounded. If you choose 0%, this means all of your rewards will be directed to your free balance and none will be auto-compounded in staking. If you choose 100%, this means that all of your rewards will be auto-compounded in staking and none will be sent to your free balance. For this example, we'll choose 100% auto-compounding. When you're ready, click Delegate, and then confirm the transaction in your wallet. And our delegation is complete. You're free to delegate to multiple collators as long as you meet the minimum delegation amount for each collator. You can also increase or decrease your bond by using the plus or minus buttons. Let's demonstrate increasing our bond. To do so, click the plus sign, input the amount that you'd like to increase your bond by. In this case, I'll choose 0.1 mover. Press confirm and confirm the transaction in your wallet. And you can see here that we have increased our delegation to 5.1 mover. If you hover over this button right here, you'll see your auto compounding percentage, which you can change at any time by adjusting the slider and confirming the transaction in your wallet. Now let's demonstrate decreasing a delegation. Reducing or revoking a delegation is a two-step process involving initiation and execution. You can initiate a request to reduce a delegation by clicking on the minus sign. Enter the amount that you'd like to decrease your delegation by. In this case, I'll choose 0.1 mover. Be careful not to reduce your bond below the collator's minimum bond amount. Press confirm, and then confirm the transaction in your wallet. Once the request is in progress, you can't make changes to it, but you can cancel it if you'd like by using the X button and then starting over. After the waiting period has passed, you can return to apps.moonbeam.network to execute, meaning finalize the request, at which point your unbonded tokens will be returned to your free balance. You can see a time estimate of when the request will be executable, but be aware that unbonding periods are measured in blocks and block production speed can vary, so the times displayed are only estimates. Once the request is eligible to be executed, you can execute it by pressing the check mark and confirm the transaction in your wallet.
To revoke your delegation entirely, don't use the minus button. Instead, use the revoke delegation button here. Just like reducing a delegation, revoking a delegation is a two-step process, so you'll need to return at a later point to execute this request. For more information about staking, including all of the parameters like the unbonding period for each network, be sure to check out the links in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.